Hey everyone! Hello! Happy Cricket Date Night! I hope I can get some friends on to um, to watch as we go through a huge image set or cartridge as I still call them um, and make a whole bunch of cards for either for our Christmas holiday card exchange or for your own personal exchanges. I um, found this. I know we all love Rob and Bob. And hello, Deborah Ann. Hi, Susan. Marissa. Hi. Hi, Lori Joe. Hi, Lisa. Dawn. Bren. Leilani. How are you? Charity. Hi, everyone. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Lou. Maria, Teresa, Eileen, yay, happy Saturday night, hi Rosemary, um, hi April, Helen, hi everyone, so um, yeah, if you were watching, if you're one of the daily watchers, I was sort of, um, it, I was having a, like a brain block about what I should do for tonight, and um and I was waiting for some approval on it on another project, and I didn't get it. And um, and I didn't get my shadow box uh, lights in on time. Hi, Babs and Darnell. Hi, nice to see you. So happy that you could come. So um, so I was kind of having a brain block yesterday, and I was like, ah, I don't know if I can do date night. And then I was sitting at the dentist with my son, who's got a molar coming in, and I was like, wait a second. There's a great, great... Um, cartridge, that's what I call it, but image set from Rob and Bob, even though it doesn't come up when we do Rob and Bob searches. Hi, Diane. Um, and so I wanted to show you just some. So this morning I set about um, making some of these cards and I did cut them all by in five by seven size. It's just, you know, there are two sizes and I figured for the camera, we, we would have, um, it would look better if they were bigger. So here are just a couple that, um, that I made. I was able to make, I think 14, I have to count them. Um, but I was able to make 13 or 14 of them and these are all from the same image set hi thank you Alejandra. um and i just thought that you would find this really interested interesting because this is an image set that i've not shown you before and um do 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 and and it has over 20 over 20 different cards on there and before you ask, these, yes, these absolutely can be cut on any machine, including the Joy. Um, and we, there's the last one I did. Um, and, you know, we've done that where you can just basically lop off the side and the scoring um, and cut it out on your Joy. So, yes, 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 you can do that. Um, and also these are free to people who are access subscribers. So, um, I wanted to tell you that just this week, they've changed the subscription process, subscription service, which is called access. And they've actually made it better. If you're on the premium access, you will now not just receive 10% off materials, but you'll get 20% off of materials. Yeah, they do have a, definitely have a retro feel to them. So 20% um, off, and then if you place your order using my link and code, that's an additional 30% off that you are going to be wanting to um, place your orders on Cricut and also to be 
an access subscriber because that's just one of the many benefits of being access subscriber. So I wanted to let you know that that is brand new. Yes, it is the premium access. It's the one that you have to pay a year for. But if you are unsatisfied with it, you can cancel. Um, but I'll be honest with you. I have been a, an access subscriber since, oh, for years now, since they kind of came out with it. And I have never been disappointed. And I was one of those people that, that always used, um, always had the cartridges, which I linked. So for me, it was like kind of, I was starting off sort of, well, I already have all these images, but then I saw how many they were adding all, you know, as they were going on. And it went from like 10,000 images to like 40, 50. And now it's like 100,000 plus images, 500 fonts. Plus you get all these things like, like the 20% off on product. I mean, I, I don't know. To me, it just seems like a no brainer. I am not the kind of person that was going to go out and like create, I will create my own projects out of the images, but I'm not the kind of person that like, I'm not really that into like logoed material. I know a lot of people like to do things like that they get off of the internet. And uh, the only thing I get off the internet is like pictures of corgis. <laughs> so, so uh, aside from that, you know, I just get all my images from usually just from uh, access. So it's a good deal for me, but you may decide it's not a good deal for you. That's up to you, of course. And um, um, if I pay yearly access is premium, but monthly it's not. Yeah, there's actually, there's two kinds of access. Let me see if I can't um, open it up. Here it is, here it is, okay. You get 20% off of materials on Cricut.com with access premium. So let's have a look at that um, thing. Oh, they did? <laughs> I got to get over to Joanne's. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Access, Cricut Access. So there are, um, th I think there's three. There's standard, which you can pay for monthly or you can pay for yearly, okay? And then there's premium. So the 20% off materials is for... Um, it looks to me like it's, yeah, it's just for the premium. So you do pay for the year, but there is a yearly standard. Um, and the difference being, um, I'm trying to think what the difference is besides the 20% off. Oh, the free shipping, but you can get that through mine, through my uh, link. I, I think it's... Mm, I think it's like you get priority care. No, priority member care is here. So really the extra $20, $25 a year is to get that 20% off of materials. Now, frankly, you know, if you're the kind of person that goes to Joanne's or Michael's or whatever or buy stuff on Amazon, then maybe um, – you know, maybe it's not for you, but for me, I always purchase my stuff directly from Cricut because usually they have the most selection. Like right now, I think they're working on getting the stock back in, but they usually have all the new stuff and, uh, you know, a lot of like all the colors. So if you're looking for a specific color, that sort of thing. So anyway, that's the difference between the standard and the premium and standard you can pay by the year or by the month. So, um, so anyway, so getting back to our super fantastic thing. So anyway, um, I just like to not have to pay individually for images. And I, that's something that with the other machines, I think they do pay individually for images too. Um, Oh, yeah. Do I know how to upgrade? Oh, so if you're on standard, you want to get on premium? Uh, definitely contact customer care. I'm sure that they can they can do that. Yeah, Teresa, that does make sense. Although, you know, I did hear recently that they are trying to make some changes that will include international and Canadian. That includes Canadian, even though we, it's, we don't call it international. But, 
Yes. Hi, Anna Maria. How are you? Okay, so let's jump in. Um, and we're going to have prizes today. So I want to hear from either people who have not, spe- I want to hear especially from people who have not won anything so far. Um, and then also maybe new people that are here visiting us um for the first time or for one of the first times uh we want to hear from you this is an extremely welcoming crowd um all of these folks are doing you know they're 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 always so welcoming and and happy to see everybody hi sarah and um so and there's a lot of chit chat that goes on all right okay Sorry, Don. Don's Don's telling me. Don's telling me I got to get a move on. Okay, so let's show you where these cards are. We're going to go to images as we often do. Australia, hello. Um, hi, Charity. Okay, so yeah, tell me, tell me uh, them. And oh, no, no squeaky toys tonight, boys. Um, okay, so we're going to go to image sets. And what we're going to be looking for when we go to image sets, we're going to use, normally when we look for Rob and Bob images, we put in Rob and you will see that there are lots of images and we've done many of these, um, especially we like, or we, we often will do stuff from here, the best of Rob and Bob, which in and of itself has a lot of Christmas cards in there. One of my favorite being um, this one here that is really that retro looking um, lights, so cute. But we're going to go to, instead of typing in Rob, because this one does, for some reason, does not have Rob and Bob in the name, but it was designed by them. And it's called Merry Everything. So here it is at the very top. So I typed in the word Mary. And here it is at the top. Now, this is a really interesting um, set of uh, images. First of all, there are gift tags here. There are little tabletop things like 3D tabletop things. So you can make little like Santa Clauses and snowmen. Um, there are 3D projects. So there's a actually a house. Um, there are gift tags galore. So there's like this one, this one, this one, lots of them. And then there are cards. And there are, I think I counted 21 cards um, in this in this set alone. So I just want to double check. There's two, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Nine, ten, eleven. Oh, there's one too. Oh, I missed that one. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. How did I get twenty? All right, so maybe my counting's off. But that's this is a great set. You need to sort of not maybe not bookmark it. Although it would be nice to have a little bookmark, huh, on the stuff you love. But um. And uh, so here we go in terms of these are all images that are that are cards. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted. The dog's barking. So what we would do is we just click on these and we'd bring it into our canvas now, which is what I've done here. But I just want to show you that they do come in rather small. Let's see, did it come in and I just don't see it? They come in rather small. So let me just do that again. Let's choose this one and bring it in. Oh, it's underneath one here. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So it comes in rather small. Now you can um, do one of two things. You can make them five by seven cards, which is what I did here tonight. I made these all five by seven. And what that means is that I have cut these out as 10, it's 10 inches across and um, seven inches tall. That's called an A7 card, okay? But if you like a smaller card, you can do the A2 cards, which would be um, the, it's a little smaller. So you would cut it at eight and a half 
by five and a half because then you're going to fold it, okay? Unless you are a joy user and then you're going to have to take the backs off the cards and put them on another card, which, which I've demonstrated many times. So here's what we're going to do. When we pull something in, we just, I'm going to do them as a seven. So we're going to put um, the width as 10 inches and automatically the height adjusts to seven. Okay, and all of these cards I did um, with the exception of the square ones, which I actually didn't make any of the square ones, but I've I done these all in A7 and I cut them all out and I used simply solid cardstock. I did not use... Um, I did not use anything fancy except for I did use some gold. And I'll tell you, A2, could you get two cards? Yes, you could, Dawn. Yes, you could. An A2 card would get you two cards from 8.5 by 11 if you're going to cut it by by hand, okay? Um, in in this case, you may not, it depends if you're gonna make two at a time, which I would recommend. I make these two at a time simply for uh, demonstration purposes, but in the end, I'm gonna end up with like 24 cards at the end of the night because I make two at a time. Okay, so here, this stuff here, I wanted to point this out to you. This is foil paper. Ooh, it's super shiny, and it's like reflecting back uh, uh, my eyes, but um, this comes from Michael's and it's part of their uh, recollections, it, but it's very thin and I thought I would just point it out to you. They do now have foil that's kind of got like a craft board backing, but this here they still carry and this is what I use exclusively for my gold foil and, and I did use it in some of these cards. But other than that, I did not use one sheet of pattern paper or 12 by 12 paper. I used all exclusively eight and a half by 11, mostly just to kind of demonstrate that, you know, that that Michael's eight and a half by 11 inch uh, paper is such a good deal. And with, you know, with just when you can get it on sale, particularly, um, which usually they're like $5.99 for a 50 pack, but when you can get it on sale, um, it's often just $2 a pack. So look for a sale. Hi, David. Um, so look for a sale. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how to put together. I hope I can get through all of these cards, but if I don't, um, there's at least a baker's dozen here. So let's get moving. All right. I'm not going to cut them out because simply because, um, simply because it just takes time. You guys know how to cut stuff out, but I will show you, um, one thing and that is my little should be patented technique of um cutting these out two at a time so you get double and especially if you use an eight and a half by 11 inch paper is this the only one i have open i want to just make sure i have all of these Okay, so it's the only one I have open. So when I use eight and a half by 11 and I do it by five by seven, I usually will make two copies and I just change it here to two project copies. And the reason why I do that is that usually two will fit nicely on um, eight and a half by 11 and I won't be um, wasting paper by having, and not that I would throw it out, but, um, but I, I'm more apt to, if I make two, I'll put two together and you'll see that often these pieces are, um, sized so that they will cut out too. And the only thing you end up having to cut out, um, on a separate sheet of paper is usually the outside of the card. So um, this is very economical and very efficient if that's the sort of thing that you like to do. For me, that's what I like to do. So um, that all that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna move you down here. Okay, and um, let's see. I'm using my trusty glue. This is my glue that I use, Art Glitter Glue. Um, you do not need to use it, but it's really good glue. Whoa, I'm having, hold on. I was trying to move you. It's really good glue, 
and um, you do not need to attach the score lines, Dorothy. They come automatically. And by the way, when I uh, work on my maker, I use my scoring stylus. Um, and that's another reason why with Joy, you would have to, um, if you do want to do these on Joy, you will need to change your machine choice to find these in design space. I hope you understand what that is, what that means, but um, it's just basically changing your, your machine on Cricut Design Space so you can look and find these images. A lot of times people say, oh, Rita, I can't find the images. It's because their, um, their machine is set for um, like joy instead of maker or explore. Okay, so let's do the Santa Claus one. The the ones that are like the faces, really cute to put together, but there are a few little quirky things about it. So for instance, here, um, the the way that it cuts out is that it ha it's a, the back is fine and then the front is sort of shaped. And so what they want you to do is they give you this car, this piece of the card. And at first I was, I was affixing that to the back. But then I realized, no, that's not the way it's supposed to go. It's supposed to have this on the front, okay? And then what I would suggest is when you cut everything out, I make a little pile of everything. And then um, and then I go back. I cut everything all out at first. And then I go back and sort of build the card before I start with the glue. And I, that usually helps me um, with that. So, so here's what I'm doing. This is supposed to be the face. So, so there is the, the actual card base. This pink is his face. And then there's white. I'm doing it wrong. Here we go. There. The pink goes in the back there and the white goes in the front. Ha ha. I have to catch myself. Um, and also, yeah, thanks for uh, saying something, Diane. Sentiments. I did not put just because I was like, I'm going to just, you know, go like a demon and, and, and make all of these cards. So, um, here I did not put any sentiments, but you're welcome to, obviously you can put the sentiments in and I've shown you that many times before. So, so here's how it's going to get put together. Um, and then we can sort of start, I would start usually from the beginning and this is why I was putting that there but here's what I did I put this pink or the flesh whatever you want to choose for the flesh color um, on to I know I'm out of okay sorry mm -mm -mm. okay here we go I think that's going to be good yeah, but just tell me if I'm out of because I often don't look at the screen. Okay, so here's this. So I put the black with the flesh, and now I'm going to put the flesh color or the pink onto the back of the red here. And you will be obviously more precise about it than I am being because I want to just kind of do this marathon card making um, and then comes the white for the beard and um, the little part of what do you call that the, the fur on his hat I guess it's fur and here this goes here and you see it's starting to take shape then we're going to put the black on here and here's what I like um, about this kind of a card is that the way this is cut out, it automatically puts the the little fur on his side like that. I just think that's so adorable. So um, this is a very clever design. And there are a couple of like specific designs. There are these character ones and there's a number of like layered ones that... Um, 
And then there, there are these like cutout cards, which I really like too. Okay, so we put the black and then see when we put the, the green on there that it gives the, the middens, which I, I don't know. It's clever. I think it's really clever, but you can mess it up if you, if you know, you like I almost did at the very beginning by, by having the pink on the outside. Okay, so this one goes together just like this. And that is going to be it, aside from a little bow that is cut out to go around the mittens. Like that. A little circle for his pom-pom. And then a cute little snowflake which I cut out in gold. I don't know, because I thought it would be kind of cool. And that's our first card. That's the Santa Claus card. And again, you can put sentiments in here. That's absolutely okay to do. And you can also cut this in smaller. So there's that one. And I'm just going to keep moving along. Uh, let's do what's up next. I don't want to do all of the... Um, all of the what do you call them the like character cards first so we'll do this one next it's a um the snowman it's kind of not a character but sort of is sort of isn't okay so the snowman is this piece here and then we've got this piece that originally when i made it I glued it to the back of the card. I don't know why I did it that way, but I realized I did it wrong. They really want you to glue it to the front of the card. So we're gonna flip this over and just start gluing. Now the thing you gotta be careful about here is um, Remember with all these like little letter cutouts, these little pieces um, have to be glued down, but you can end up with, um, you know, glue seeping out. So you have to be a little bit judicious about where you're putting your glue. You don't want to put too much, as I always tell you, don't want to do that. So, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it like this. Nope, I'm not going to fold it. <gasps> Somebody didn't catch me. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put this black part on the back first. Duh, I think I'm brain dead. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of glue here and then attach that red piece. Here we go. And then we can fold it. This has only a little bit of a score right here and here, so be careful. And then look at, I didn't even take my own advice and I put too much glue on there, which is why I use this glue, because it doesn't, it doesn't, it dries clear. Okay. And he gets this fella, which I can, hope I can find all the pieces. Okay, it's okay. He gets in place for the A for holidays. You're going to put this uh, green. Now, I mostly followed their color um, suggestions, but you can certainly mix it up. If you don't think that red should be on the back of the... Um, of the snowman, you, you know, could try pink or uh, or any color for that matter, blue if you want. Uh, it's up to you, but I just kind of liked their color choices, very like modern or retro-y, I guess. I don't know what you would call it, but it's like, it's their own style, I guess. Mid-century modern, maybe? Anyway, so I'm putting on this snowflake and this snowflake goes here and then we've got 
a little star for the tree. And then the only thing we have left is his nose, which is around here. If I don't find it, we'll come back and stick it on. All right. Sometimes that happens with the little pieces, but I, I did his nose in gold foil. Um, and sometimes their little pieces get, get lost on my desk. So this goes together really quickly. And again, when you cut them out, just make a little pile and oops, sorry. Okay. And did I put this on? No, I didn't dot that on. Okay, I suppose you could cut out um, the nose in orange if you wanted. And I can't seem to find it right now, but I will find it. So we'll put him aside for his little nose. So there's our second one done. And let's go next to this guy, which is next in our line. It is the penguin. So cute. And again, this one here, uh, it has a front that's put on here. Now, um, it just it's not going to be closed like this. All right? So there will be this cut here, and that is okay. Okay? So here is the main piece. It has the score line right here. Okay, and here is the this piece. Now, I suppose if, if this bothers you a little bit, that there is this here, you could put this he here onto the back, like this square onto the back. That would work too, um, and it won't interfere at all with your design. So I'm going to do one like that, and the other one I do it on. Um, put on the front. Who knows? Maybe it was designed to be this way and not the way that I that I originally did it. So here is the base of the card, right? And then this goes together with first with the scarf. The scarf goes here. And you can follow the line here. Then the face comes here. It's so cute. And it actually does like really nest into the scarf. Cut out these little, these little dots here. Poop. Okay. So there we go, like this. And then the present gets built sort of like this where um, I cut this out in yellow and in gold, but because I wasn't sure which one I liked best. I'm not sure what I like, like best now. So, okay, and then the hat goes here with the pom-pom, and then here's his little beak, and then all he needs is his hand. Is it a beak? I don't know if it's a beak. So here are his two little hands, which are cutouts like this. I don't know, maybe I'll put the gold there. Let's try it with the gold. And then this snowflake goes here. So let's put it together. Can do it like that. <laughs> put it together. So have you all started making your Christmas cards or your holiday cards or not? Um, is this sort of the first foray? Last Saturday we did holiday cards too as sort of a kickoff for me anyway. Um, and I'm wondering if you guys have started. Are you still working on Halloween and Thanksgiving? Uh, we have a couple of really nice Thanksgiving cards coming up. Also from Rob and Bob um, this, this week. And then we have, let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, hey, so the new foil, that foil transfer kit, so they came out with some new, I don't know if you saw that, but they came out with some new foils. Um, 
trying to think if this is right. This is, yeah, this is the way it goes right over there. So um, they came up with like some ruby and I know that the folks at Cricut are sending it to me. So hopefully that comes this week and then I can show you what those look like. It's like a ruby. Um, it has like a rose gold or like a magenta color, I guess. Um, different than the one that originally came in that, uh, in that sampler. And then there's a metallic one, which is kind of cool. And they also have like the tips and they wanted me to tell you that the tips are not because let's say you got the system and um, it's not like the, t the original tips are gonna wear down. They will not. That it's, they're only selling them separately because um, because they're afraid people might lose them. And uh, so depending on where you put yours, I, I put mine in in my drawer of my machine because there's a little, did I do this wrong? I did do it wrong. Boo hoo, I did it wrong. Um, there's a little drawer that has a little magnet there so you can put the tips, but I could see people losing them. Um, because they're so tiny. So that's why they're selling them, I guess. Not because they're gonna need to be changed. Like if you had, for instance, a knife blade or the rotary blade, which eventually do need changing if you use them a lot. And remember, you know, I've been seeing a lot in the groups lately <laughs> where people, uh, their last thing, they think that they can, um, you really can't because it's made with German carbide. And so a lot of people think that they can, they can uh, sharpen the blade. And unless you have, and I think it was one of our followers who had their husband do it on their like metal sharpening machine, um, you cannot really sharpen it with tin foil. A lot of people think you can use tin foil to sharpen it. It will clean it, but it won't sharpen it. Um, so you should know that. So eventually you do need to replace your blades. And, um, even though they are German carbide and, um, they don't need to be changed a lot. Um, I use my machine every single day and, um, I find that I change my, uh, blade usually once a month. I'm not doing these really, really well. Because look at I put them glow there. But there's our penguin. He's so cute. You cannot find the Santa. No? You can't find the Santa. All right. Well, I, I, I'll have to go back and look for the Santa. Okay? Um, hmm, that's weird. Okay. Hmm. All right, so next up is this interesting bird. Why is the Santa not there? It was there. Huh. Okay, so this really interesting bird that I sort of think, but I'm not terribly sure, but I think it's kind of maybe like a Hanukkah bird, like a peace bird or something, but I might be wrong. Hi, Charlene. Um, I might be wrong about that. So, but I just thought it was really interesting. The colors um, are really nice, this blue and gold and the red, and it's pretty simple. It consists of just four cutouts and the, the inside cutout is just simply white. The, the outside piece of blue is just that. And again, you know, you don't have to follow their color choices. You can choose whichever ones you want, but, um, nope, put it wrong. Here we go. I, I like this blue. And for some reason I kept thinking maybe it was a, it was a Hanukkah type of a card, but it may not be. Um, 
but the thing I really like about this cartridge is that it really does cover just about anything. There's like a couple of cards that say Mary everything, which is kind of cool because, you know, sometimes people, they, they get so upset if you, you know, if you wish them a greeting and I understand that. Um, so I have for a number of years now said to everyone, Merry everything, happy always. That's my that's my go to um, saying when I when I'm t either writing my cards or um, just even greeting people outside in public. So I figure that covers everything. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. This one went together really fast. And just want to make sure that they're both on the fold and they are. And boom, there we go. Isn't that an adorable bird? Happy holidays. Yeah, I know, but for some weird reason, people were saying, no, that's offensive. I, I don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you know, you're greeting people, and I just think it's nice when people greet people. So that's a good thing. Let's do this pink and blue one next. Isn't this fun? Oh, my gosh. Pink. And blue, so much fun. And this one is super easy. It has this happy holidays. And I just love the colors. And all it takes is you're going to put the blue on the outside. And this is the inside. So let's fold these at the score lines. And the first thing we'll do is we'll do the blue. I still have the paper. When uh, we, we had AC Moore go out of, you know, I don't know if you guys know what AC Moore is, but if you're on the East Coast, you do. And they were our um, craft store here and they went out of business just before the COVID stuff. And um, I went in right before they declared the emergency. I went in um, to the store to pick up some racks, which I had purchased. And I said to the fellow that I knew very well, and I said, what are you going to do with all this paper? Because he had a lot of leftover paper. And he said, I don't know what they're going to do with it. And they're going to close the, the state tomorrow. So that'll be it for us. So I said, well, how about if I just give you, I don't know, 50 bucks for, for whatever you have left? And they granted a lot of it was picked over. And he said, yeah, that sounds fine to me. Um, and and I walked out of there with like these enormous boxes of paper. Then I had to sort it all, of course, but it was a good deal. Um, and a lot of them have these little stickers on the on the back. That's how I know they came from there. But I missed that little store. They were a really cool store. Good alternative to um, Michael's and Joanne's. Okay, look how quick that went in. So easy. And just really, I think they look really modern. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but that one's really cool. Let's do the uh, baby in the manger, the Christmas scene one next, which I actually ripped this one when I was taking it off my, uh, when I was taking it off my mat, cause I opened a new mat. I was like, Oh, I should get a new mat. Cause everybody's always saying my mats are dirty, but, um, I like them dirty. <laughs> Well, it's not that I like them dirty. It's just that I never have time to clean them. Okay, so this one here, very interesting. It has like, ooh, it keeps reflecting, but it has this really nice metallic. This is the metallic that they have. Um, they have also, this was at Michael's. So it's got a nice little metallic piece that I cut out from Michael's. It's a little different than the foil that I showed you. Okay, and the way this one works is 
the cream color or whatever is like the facial color, I guess is what you'd call it, um, goes in between the front and the back here like this. I thought that was really kind of interesting. And then it goes on top of this. And it does peek out up here a little bit. So first thing first, let's attach this piece to the inside. And I know that's probably not snow because there wouldn't be any snow in Jerusalem. Oh wait, in Bethlehem, uh, there wouldn't be snow. So I'm hoping that they are just gonna call those stars. <laughs> Yeah, I think stars. Okay, so then we take the blue, the cream, and that blue that goes over that. Got a little piece hanging off here. And we're going to put that together. I think it would be a good idea to sandwich them before applying it to the actual card base. I'm having a really hard time with that little piece there. Okay. Okay, you guys. It's nothing. It's nobody. Right, see? I just love the baby. Look at the baby. <laughs> All right, and then the blue piece goes over that. Not using a ton of glue. And see, I can still use a piece that got ripped. Don't be throwing it out and redoing it. Sometimes pieces rip, you know, and you can usually patch them up or hide them in some way. And that's what I did here. Okay. The only thing is I, I probably put a little tiny bit of glue here to indicate his like eyebrow. And then here's my base and then I'm gonna put it on the base like that. And again, it sticks out a little bit. So don't think that you need to line it up. You don't. So I guess the, the point of all this is to show you that there are all kinds of cards. I think it was Dawn who said, you know, you don't know what kind of card to give people. You find it amazing? Ama yeah, the, the least amount of glue you can possibly use um, is the way that I go with that because um, you can't take it off you know, but you can, you can re-add it. So let's up this one, which I thought was really interesting. Aside from the red, um, there really isn't anything Christmassy or holiday about this one, but it's really interesting. It's got white, gray, and black, and the way that it works is, and these were the colors they suggested, so you can always change it up. So here's, hi Benji, here's the outside and then there's the inside. Yes, you like it when mommy talks. You think mommy's talking to you. You do, I know you do. Yeah, yeah, okay honey. Yeah, but you can't press against me though. So yeah, you know, too much glue can be very bad. Not only um, does it like seep out, but also um, if you use a lot of glue, often if you're using uh, thinner paper, I use mostly 65 pound paper, but sometimes if you use thinner paper, it, um, it will, it, like vellum and stuff, it will like warp. I guess it gets like wavy and I hate that. So, um, so I don't like that at all. And I think that's a common 
rookie mistake, but you get used to it. And you might have to go back and put a little bit in the corner. That's fine. Um, that's fine. I always inspect my cards before I send them out anyway, if I have to send some glue. And remember, we're not going to, when we have this two piece of the card, we don't put glue on this back portion because then it causes problems with opening and closing. We leave this unglued, okay? It also gives us more writing space if you like to do that. So there is that one. How many have I done so far? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've done seven so far. Phew! Um, what's up next? Let's do this Happy Holidays one. See if I can find it. Oh no, you know what I'll do? I'll, uh, I see on the top here, this one here. I love this card because it has cardinals in it and I just love cardinals. Um, here it is. Also very simple. It's a black, I'm sorry, not black. It's a blue. It's got a white base. I'm on a roll, Susan. What do you think? It's got a white base and it's got this blue. Um, and we've got a few little pieces that didn't get punched out when they cut. So we have to just use a little thing there. And then... I just really love this card because um, it, I just want to make sure I put this on right. Yeah. First of all, the cardinal has a little eye and then these little berries turn red, which is completely appropriate. And then he gets a little bit of, of gold. And I don't know if you guys know this, but they say cardinals are, um, you know, it's a little saying, but the cardinals are, are when they come to visit, they are our loved ones who have passed coming to visit and say hello. And I just love that because my dad was, um, he was born at Christmas time and he's passed now. And um, he always loved red. I don't know. It's just, he looked good in red and he always loved red. And then the first winter he was gone, didn't I see a cardinal? And it was just like so amazing. I'm like, oh, wow. And you know, I know, I suppose sometimes that's just coincidence, but I was like, wow, that's so fabulous. So I've always loved cardinal cards since then. So this one here, we're is just uh, four layers. I know, maybe I'm going too fast, Susan. Four layers and, did I put this on right? I wanna make sure in the front. No, I didn't. Whoops, whoops, whoops. What am I doing? Wait. <laughs> there it is. There, is that it? Oh, deep breath, deep breath. Here we go, yep, that's it. Okay. And then this white piece. All right, so we can take a little bit of a rest now and then we can sort of talk about two things. One is we've got a Christmas card exchange and this is sort of the last call, although, you know, if somebody adds on later, that's fine. But this weekend, tomorrow, I'm gonna to be putting together the list and isn't that adorable? Oh, so cute. Okay, so we're gonna take a little breather here. I'm gonna get a glass of a drink here. Um, well, Dorothy, I cut out two of each of them, and um, I would have to say it took me, I don't know, a couple of hours to cut out two of each. Um, oh, Babs. Yeah, this is great. So, anyway, um, so... I want to chit chat with you a little bit. So, so, um, I did, I cut out two of each of these and we only have like what 
these three, four, six left to do. Um, and we'll go back and look for that Santa Claus because if you can't find it, then what, you know, that doesn't make it a lot of sense. But, um, what was I going to say? Okay, the chat, the, the holiday card exchange. So if you would like to be part of a holiday card exchange with these folks here, us folks, we are holding one. This is going to be our first annual. I hope it will be an annual celebration. We're going to do that. And you have to just send your name and address to my email account, which is Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. And that is uh, what is going to happen is I will I will call together the entire list. There is a group on Facebook that I created just for people who are doing the card exchange because I didn't want to just like put all the addresses out in the universe and um and then we will uh you can choose one five three twenty or all of them hi debbie um you can choose to send uh as many as you want and um and so you can uh you know whatever you want to do and then when people start to receive them uh, then we can end the group, go back. So that's Rita, Miss Rita to the rescue, um, at gmail.com. Okay. So there's that. And then what's the other thing? Oh, prizes. Okay. So, um, you found the Santa. Okay, good. He is not in image sets. He's in projects. Really, Babs? Hmm. I want to... Because it's kind of funny. I um, Okay, so Dawn's asking how many in the group. I think I got about 50, uh, at 50 names and addresses right now. And again, you know, 50 is a lot. And when I did this with um, my Corgi friends, Babs being one of them, um, we it got so big that there were like literally hundreds of people on the list and everybody was like stressing out like you know oh I can't send a hundred cards out and so what they said was look at just choose the names of people you know not everybody on the list was friends you know and if you've interacted with somebody then just send it to those folks you know and that was a good advice so that's what we're going to do here is we're going to just do you know you pick you, there's no prerequisite and if you want to send the cards without a greeting inside so that somebody can use it later um then you can you can do that somebody suggested putting a post-it note so that way they can reuse the card um which is it's a it's a great idea and i would you know encourage you if you wanted to do that and, you know, and then we'll get to see everybody's work. You did find the Santa? Okay, good. Santa's fun. Okay, so let's get get um, back to doing some cards because we're at 8 o'clock here. Okay, so there, here's the polar bear, one of those. Here he is. I actually cut him out with a little bit of glitter. Um... And I thought that was kind of cute, but you don't have to do uh, the glitter. Now, what I did on this one is I also did this with the back here. Oops, I did this with the back here. Although you could put it on the front, that's up to you. Um, so I think I'll do it, I think I'll do it that way. Um, and We'll put that together. So what else do we have? Okay, so giveaways. So this month we are doing paper giveaways because we've been doing all kinds of other things. And if you're new here, here's how we do the giveaways. Uh, and I'm going to keep working while I'm talking. So I hope that's okay with you guys. So here's how we do the giveaways. So each month I get um, a certain amount of money that I can spend on giveaways. And so what a lot of people, and this is 
when you're a product expert, that's what they do. And I thank Cricut for that because um, it's really a lot of fun. And um, so you get to choose what you want to give away. And a lot of the product experts, they choose like the machines, which is really great. But um, frankly, I am kind of, I, I was a kind of person that never really um, won anything. I don't know if you're one of those people. And I just like um, to give out the prizes. They're so much fun. So I'm... I, I'm more of the idea of let's do, you know, smaller prizes so more people can win. And so a lot of people that are watching have already won, which is fabulous. And so we are now at um, a place where I want to make sure that if you're new or you've never won and you've been tuning in, then um, certainly I want for you to be a winner um, so you can appreciate it. And then usually at the end of the month is when I put all of the names in. Um, and as I said, this month it's paper. Next month, if they're in stock, um, we'll probably do the foil kits. And... Um, we just change it up. Sometimes we do infusible ink. Sometimes we do iron-on or vinyl. Mostly paper typey things because I like to, I'm a paper product person. I'm a paper crafter. I'm a paper crafter. Okay, that's the correct way to say it. Um, so this month it's paper and it's uh, a number of hand-selected um paper items from Cricut and then I'll put it in and everybody will um, be notified that I have their names and and all that blah 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 and um, and I'm, I'm going off on a tangent I think and I apologize um let's see but uh so all that being said if you have never won um, or you're, you've been watching and you want to win this, this prize. Um, I know some of you have already said, oh, hi, I'm new. But if you wouldn't mind, um, if you're still here, I also like to get people to watch the, the show. So let me know in comments and I've got two people I haven't seen her yet though is Emmy and Laurie Jo uh is often here I know she was here at the beginning but um and Emmy often will keep track of that so I don't know if you guys can do that pick me please I've never won all right And Bren, I owe you an apology. I still have not sent out that cutie. Oh, you know why? It's not it's not because you live in Canada. It's because I've just been I've been doing my radiation. And by the way, I have only two more treatments left, and then I am done with my cancer treatments. Um, which I'm so excited about. But I've just been like go i I do the show every morning and then I get up and I go to the hospital and get my so it's been going on for like weeks now and um and I have two more treatments left and so I'm pretty excited about it so Bren I really apologize I'm so sorry but I will get it to you this week and I'm gonna put some goodies in there too all right so here is here's the hat now, I did use glitter here, so I'm going to use a lot of glue here. That's my exception, is when I'm using glitter, you do need to use a little extra glue to hold it in place. All right. I am so grateful, too, because let me tell you... Um, it was long. It was a long pro because what happened was I ended up with a, with like a, a, not to get into terrible details, but I ended up with a problem after my surgery and I had to go visit the doctor every day for six weeks. So that delayed my radiation um, by 
the six weeks it took because they wanted to solve the problem. Oops, too much glue. Um, they wanted to solve that problem before they started on the radiation, which was, you know, a good thing. And, but it caused a delay. And so it ended up being, instead of four weeks of radiation, it was 10 weeks total that I've been going for three, um, five days a week to the hospital. And, and I just, you know, but I'm glad, I'm happy. I'm so glad. And I had excellent care. Couldn't have asked for better care. So that's awesome. So thank you. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about a party. We're going to have to do something because um, it's a lot. It's it's a lot. It's fun. So anyway, so... Um, I am, I am, I'm excited about it, but, um, let's see. So let me see. I want to go back to pick me, please. I love that. So cute. Pick me, please. Um, yay. Okay. I'm just looking at the at the uh, comments. Yay. I know. Thank you, everybody. I do so appreciate all the, po all the positive comments and everything. Okay. All right. Today's your birthday? All right. So Terry is going to have to win. All right. Because that's your birth. You've never won. Tonight's your birthday. Terry, you are going to be one winner. And I'm going to pick, actually, um, another one. P Betsy. Oh, Betsy. Count me in. The polar bear is awful. You never win anything, Sarah. Oh. Okay. Oh, Darnell. Oh, yes. Um, hi, Joan from Australia. It's 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. Uh, you watch me on the replay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I got to, uh, see, this is where I get tough because I don't know. I want everybody to win. I would give you all prizes if I could. Um, let me choose Vicki Van Osdale for second winner. And because um, I see her a lot. And then let's also choose Betsy Setzler. Okay, so we had three winners tonight. Betsy and Terry, who's his bir her birthday, and Vicky. So here's what you have to do, ladies, is you have to send me an email to my email address. And you can just put, I'm a winner or something like that. And I'm, I welcome, you know, because I'm the one answering the email. So um, you can write whatever you want to write and give me your name and address and make sure you include the zip code. Some people have forgotten the zip code, but I need it, um, to mail it. And this would be your address that you receive mail and packages from Teddy Bear. Come on, honey. Um, and then, and then let's see, what else do I need? Also, if you use a different name um, when you are online, make sure, like a lot of people use their maiden names or some people use, you know, just their first name. So make sure you give me your full name where the post office, because it goes by FedEx and then post office, so that they'll know um, how to get it to you. Okay, so Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com, and that email is for both our prize winners. And if you still want to be part, or if you haven't already gotten your um, address into me for the card exchange, okay. Um, and then let's continue on with this. Okay, so. So I was thinking about, uh, you know, future date nights and I was thinking to break it down because there's a lot of holiday cards. Um, 
And there's a lot of holiday crafting, but I know you guys particularly like cards. So um, I was thinking like we could just kind of break it down by um, designer or like kind of type. Uh, like for instance, I think we could probably do a bunch with Anna Griffin. Uh, she has several uh, card, what do you call them? Um, card sets, image sets. So I think that we could probably do a bunch, like a whole night just on doing her cards. They're so elaborate. We still have plenty to do with Rob and Bob. And then we have some of the older image sets that I've yet to um, tell you guys about. So I think we could probably keep moving on there. And then I have a Dollar Tree craft for you. Uh, I forgot about that. I have a Dollar Tree craft that I'm going to do next next week. So easy and very much in the dollar store right now. So you can still get to Dollar Tree and pick some up. And it's a little snow globe um, that looks like a mason jar, but it's plastic for a buck. And we're going to decorate it with some vinyl. Okay. And by the way, if you didn't win tonight and you have never won, um, know that I want you all to have <laughs> to win this prize um, or some some prize. So um, please don't be disappointed. If you continue to come, you're likely to win a prize because I do try to give out um, uh, a lot of them. And we change it up every month just to keep things interesting. Okay, so this one here, oh, what fun. Holiday earrings? No, Anna Maria, it's for any kind. It, right now, it's the, the card exchange is for holidays, but someone suggested that we... Um, we do the, you know, like we have something later on, like so after the holidays are over, if it's successful, um, we can do like, you know, maybe a monthly exchange or something, and which I like the idea of that. But as far as being Christmas only, no, it's not. Um, holidays, if you want to send out Hanukkah cards, Kwanzaa cards, uh, Yule New Year's, whatever you want to send out. Um, I think people are just really interested in seeing what other people can do. Um, so that is, that that's, I think, you know, and we should all be open to, you know, receiving things that maybe are, you know, ho just different holidays. So if you are, for instance, someone who really likes to send out Hanukkah cards. I have quite a few people that I send out Hanukkah cards to, and um, I love to make them. There's actually a shaker card that we're going to be doing. Is Lisa Odell here today? I hope she's doing well. Um, so, so does that answer your question, Anna Maria? Because, um, because yeah. Um, and remember, too, there will be some people on the list that are Canadian. I think we have one or two international outside of Canada. Um, so we've got to, you know, you've got to just choose your uh, how many you want to send. And don't, you know, overextend yourself. If you can't send out more than a couple, just send out a couple, you know. And yes, my name will be on there too. And don't feel obligated that you have to send one to me. But but I would love it. So, um, And I'll be sending out my cards too. And then if it goes well, then we can maybe do something like a quarterly or something like that. Uh, or seasonally. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do. The, the important thing is that, is that you're using your cricket. And you're feeling accomplished and um, and you are reaching out to other people, especially during this crazy time. That's all that's important to me um, is that we're all and that's the reason why I started doing these videos is because. You know, I was stuck at home, just like you guys. And with me, I had a cancer diagnosis. And I was like, 
you know, how am I going to stay sane during all of this? And, uh, and so I just said, Hey, let's, let me do these morning programs. And, and it's just been really wonderful for me. Um, and I hope it's been for you too. So, and we've met so many great friends too. Oh, look at this one. It's a nutcracker. You're here for the cards. <laughs> yeah. Spoken like a real paper hoarder. <laughs> um, Oh, Valentine's. That's perfect, Valentine's. Um, okay, so here's the Nutcracker one. I don't know if you're a fan of the Nutcracker, but um, I actually am. The Boston Nutcracker is pretty awesome. Okay, and these last two, and then we'll do, we'll finish up doing the reindeer because he's my favorite. Um, so let's do the Happy Holidays and... Then there's this like sleigh with all the presents on it. Just reminds me of New York City for some reason. Okay, so the sleigh with the presents, it just four sheets. Look at that. It's got it's white. Look at the, how intricate that's cut. Real nice. What's a shaker card? A shaker card is a card that you put a little space in between by creating like layers and you put a little space in between the layers so if it's a circle you'd make a couple of circles and sort of build it up and then you'd put acetate or what I use is I use the the um covers from from a uh mat you know those mat covers that you know you end up with I end up with a ton of those um and you put that on there and then you put inside things like glitter and little cutouts and so you shake it and it looks like a snow globe that's what the shaker card is and then I also want to show you a couple other card types including um cascade cards which are really fun we we haven't spent nearly enough time doing pop-ups and box cards there's so many cards that we can make and um i'm happy to make them with you so much fun all right so this one now what i would give you as suggestions for these ones that are like these layered ones is go very sparingly on the glue and always put the glue on the back of that layer because if you put it on this layer um it might seep out on these little you know on these little cutouts so i always put it on the back instead of on the front of the next layer and put a little tiny bit more glue here and then when you're doing these layers line them up so that you can't you shouldn't be able to see the colors uh, you can see a little tiny bit of that red but i'm kind of rushing here so um Anyway, uh, so that's kind of the plan going forward through the end of the year. I love to do ha Happy New Year cards, so we'll do those too. And I love the idea of a Valentine's Day swap. So maybe what we'll do is we'll keep building the list. So there's that one. Doo -doo -doo. And here, I'm going to show you my mistake here is um i did put the glue on the first one i did i put the glue on too much and it caused that problem but this one here i did less glue and i might go back and just kind of stick a little bit of glue in there okay last one before the reindeer is this holiday happy holidays one there's also another one that's happy holidays that is um a different look to it uh, that i like hmm. There's a Merry and Bright. There's a Merry Everything. Um, there's just so many. So the point that trying to illustrate here is that if you're ever stuck for uh, an idea, really what I do, is, <laughs> I know I'm kind of a, 
a goofball, but I just spend time looking through the image sets when I'm on my iPad, like at night, maybe I'm watching a TV show and then I'll just kind of scroll through and see the image sets. Or sometimes I'll just do a search, you know, with some word like reindeer and see what comes up because I'm always pleasantly surprised with that so um okay so this one here is this outside piece and then the green isn't that cool that lime green and um the way that these cards are put together is that it goes from no cutouts to a little cutout and then a little more and then the most and that's how the colors peek through here you see so when you put this together, you end up seeing all four of the colors, which is really kind of fun. Um, and we see that a lot with uh, Anna, Anna Griffin cards. She has those layered cards, but these are a little more like kind of modern uh, type of thing. So I, I like them. They're really cute. And... Let's see. Oops. A little too much glue there. Okay. And then this one goes on here. So, in an evening of crafting, when you're just, you know, kind of like, oh, I'm just going to sit down and make a few cards. Now you know there's this wonderful card, car, uh, image set, cartridge, whatever you want to call it, out there that have that has 20 cards of which I've shown you uh, at least 13, or I am showing you 13 of them. And there are others. I wish I had gotten to them all, but I didn't. Um, so you can choose whichever one is your favorite. Isn't that cute? Um, so I think these are all really fun. And oh my God, many many comments I wish I could be reading all of them and I I do review all the comments so if you have things like questions or um comments or whatever like something you want to see that um that you haven't been able to find then comment comment I'm listening and I will do whatever it is you guys want me to do that's what I'm here for okay so <laughs> this is the last one and he's I stuck him on there real good man kind of came off okay so this one I love this one it's reindeer and I was thinking could probably put a, a you know make him a a Rudolph if you wanted to um I kind of messed up here on the I know I'm not supposed to show you my mistakes. And I use glitter for the snowflakes and for on top of the package. I'll show you how this goes together. So here, it, there's two different color blues. And I put this one on the back rather than putting it on the front of the card. Although you could do it that way. You could definitely do it that way. But you'd end up with like this cut and that might bother you. Okay. Yep, I always go back and read um, and read and comment. And if you have questions, I'm happy to help. Same thing if you're watching it on YouTube and you have a question, I try to respond as quickly as possible. Sometimes things slip through and I'm like, how did I not answer that question? Um, but I try. YouTube is not the best place for comments because they, they just kind of have a weird comment. I, I so enjoy uh, Facebook. And you know you can also email me anytime if you have a particular problem. And I have um, I had a, a darling conversation with um, Sherry. Sherry? I'm trying to remember. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm spacing on 
her name, but we had a conversation by phone, um, not to, what was it, last Sunday, and we were going over the iPad because she was really struggling and she kept, and I kept trying to tell her, like, okay, do it this way, do it, and it just it wasn't working. So I'm like, let me just call you. And and we had a darling conversation. She's from Kentucky. And um, we had a really nice conversation um, by phone. And that was just so much fun. So, um, so if you ever are struggling, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Okay. So the um, the the reindeer he has that black in the background, but wouldn't it look cute with a little red nose, right? Um, but you, we you layer it like that, and then we start putting all the pieces together. I think it goes this way. I'm gonna make sure. Yep, it goes this way, and here is his scarf. This red, for some reason, kept getting chewed up in my machine. And here's his little bow. And then we got the snowflakes. So let's put him together, and then we'll put him on the card, and then we can be done. Um, so what else is there to talk about? So, um... Uh, also, let me know what kind of projects you want to see because I sometimes I do struggle with trying to find exactly what people want to see and, and I think, oh, this is too easy. Um, but I was thinking the other day, you know, maybe I need to have a little beginner, like a beginner class um, for people who are just taking their machines out of the box and will be getting a lot more crafters you know um come come you know christmas and the holidays a lot of people get them as gifts and then they are like so overwhelmed they don't know what to do so maybe we'll do after the first of the year we'll do some date nights where we're just gonna do basics like welding and um what else uh attaching and text boxes and just how to get the thing out of a box, you know, <laughs> just, and some of it will be review for you and some of it might, you might learn something new. Um, so I was thinking that about that just yesterday, like, gee, that would be kind of fun to have like a little, um, even if it's like a little workshop on a Saturday that we can start even earlier than date night and have it be, have it be a little longer. People can come and go as they want to. That would be fun. I'd like to do that, but I'd want to do it in Zoom so everybody can see each other. Um, so i got to figure out how to do that. All right. And then all we have to do is put these little snowflakes on which I, I cut out of the glitter. One, two, three. I think I have an extra snowflake here. Oh, maybe I didn't put it on there. Well, I don't know. We're just gonna have to put that. You can never have too many snowflakes. All right, almost done. All right, Whoop. put too much glue, see? Whoever was saying I used too little glue. Whoa, man, look at that, too much glue, yucky. <laughs> all right here we go let's see let's see put that snowflake there okay oh no maybe i'll put the big one here and here and this one all right so i think that's gonna do it for today i'm gonna go through all the cards that we made let me just slap these snowflakes on and okay still a little too wet all right so we've got our reindeer the happy holidays the sled so cool the nutcracker i love the reindeer too look at this cute oh what fun Look at this really interesting polar bear. Love it. 
Uh, my Cardinals. There's my very modern looking trees, decorated trees. The nativity scene. This really cool pink one. You guys are going to be getting some of these cards. <laughs> um, this interesting bird, which I got to find out. It's like It looks like a peace dove or something. And then our cute little penguin and our, our very odd coloring but really cute snowman and then the the santa claus so what does that make it two four six eight ten twelve fourteen six sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight cards that i made in one day um so there you go. There you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, remember, you're going to go to in the image set. If you have a joy, you need to change your machine. I'm just going to show you that real quick up here, okay? If you have a joy, change your machine up here where it says your machine. If it says joy there, change it to maker or to explore. doesn't matter. But when you're looking for the images, you're going to find more by going and changing your machine first. Then you go to image sets and type in the word Mary. It's called Mary Everything. And there you go. And in addition to all those cards, you'll find some 3D stuff too. Thanks everybody for coming tonight. Thank you for being my date. And we'll see you um, again on Monday morning uh, for our Mystery Material Monday. You can make 50 in a day. Yeah, you could. All right, everyone. Love you guys and take care of yourselves. Have enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you again on Monday morning. Bye everyone.